Good afternoon. My name is Rodrigo Sanchez Cunha. I am an assistant professor and division head of endodontology at the University of Manitoba. I'm here today to discuss an interesting topic that constantly I'm asked about when we go to different meetings and study club, and that is how can I increase the chance of finding my second mesobuccal canal in maxillary molars? Let's take a quick look at my presentation in order to discuss this topic. Several research studies shows that there is a high incidence of a second mesobuccal canal in both first and second maxillary molars. Actually, Walcott and co-workers stated in their research study that the significant difference in the incidence of a second mesobuccal canal between initial treatments and retreatments suggests that the failure to find and treat existing second mesobuccal canals will decrease the long-term prognosis. When we look at both group of teeth separately, there is an approximately 90% chance of finding a second mesobuccal canal in first maxillary molars, while the incidence decreases to 60% when analyzing the same canal in second maxillary molars. And this was shown by Stropko's research study in 1999. So with this data, it gives us the information that with such a high rate of occurrence, we are obligated to look for mesobuccal canal number two. This picture shows us a first maxillary molar with all four canals. When we look at mesobuccal one and we, we look at mesobuccal two, we can see that they are separate by two to three millimeter distance between each other. This distance can vary depending on the tooth. However, it's already a good point to start with when we're looking for the second mesobuccal canal. Some clinical tips to find MB2 also include magnification and illumination. And I would, of course, talk about the microscope, which gives us both, increases our magnification, but also gives us illumination, which is extremely important for us to find the second mesobuccal canal. Other tools like Munz burrs, Miller burrs, there are long shank round burrs, allows us to trough the dentin more conservatively using a slow speed, which would decrease the chance of perforation. You can also use your ultrasonic tips that also allows you to remove the dentin in a conservative way, also decreasing the chance of perforation. Another important technology for us to try to negotiate and find the second mesobuccal canal is the cone bean computer tomography. Actually, this technology allows us to observe the mesobuccal root, and you can actually see in this slice two separate canals inside the mesobuccal root. This shows us that in this case, for sure you're gonna have a second mesobuccal canal, which will allow us which will give us more confidence to go after that second canal. It's also very important when trying to find the second mesobuccal canal to do a very conservative axis. We should not decrease the tooth strength, removing a lot of tooth structure when trying to find that second mesobuccal canal. So when we look at this picture, we can again see all four canals. However, the axis opening is very conservative. So when we look at this picture, we can see both mesial and distal wall are still conserved after the axis. And this is gonna give us longevity. This is what's gonna allow us to keep the tooth in the mouth for a longer period of time. And I'm glad to answer any questions with regards to this topic or any other topics related to endodontics here in Oasis.